everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video. My name is Filipa and today I'm going to be playing Is It Power Stones in Best of One Standard? And I know some of you really like the creative decks and although this deck is also creative, I can assure you that it's also one of the competitive decks that I usually play. Uh, so if I want to win, this deck is a good option to do so while not also playing the tier one meta decks that everyone is playing. Um, but at the same time, it will guarantee you some wins because this deck uh, has a lot of removal, it also has very cool interactions and I actually played this deck back in Marsh of Machine I think uh, with the power stones ramping me into big artifacts so that's the old goal of the deck while also keeping cheap interaction um, I did change the deck a bit and I will explain you why in Ixalan we got a ton of cool artifacts so what I decided to do because uh, first of all, Shimil has a great thing that is spells your control cannot be countered. So this deck had a lot of counter magic. I also feel like the meta is more aggro now in best of one. So I cut the counter magic to put more removal and to focus on ramping faster into our big artifacts that it's what's going to win us in the end of the day. So against aggro decks, you have a very good shot because you try to remove things early and then you just play your big spells. We're playing three Flame Blast Bolt, a way to exile, which nowadays is really important. Uh, deal to damage target creature or Planeswalker. If that creature or Planeswalker will die, exile it instead. Instant speed, we have one Lightning Strike, we have two Obliterating Bolts, and I feel like there's a lot of things with four toughness. This also exiles, which I think is relevant. That's why we are only running one Lightning Strike and two Obliterated Bolts. Another reason is that we also have other ways to deal three damage, as you're going to see later. We have two Treasure Maps, so this is one of the additions from one of the new sets. Uh, this card is going to be able to, first of all, scry you, and then also ramp you. We have four stern lessons, draw two cards and discard a card, it's instant speed. So you can keep something like a lightning strike in hand or a flame blast bolt and if they don't play any creature you can just stern lesson, draw two cards, discard a card, create a power stone. The power stones will also only give you mana to spend an artifact spell, so in this case uh, it's going to be really good for our late game. We have 3 Excavation Explosion, it's a 3 mana sorcery, deals 3 damage to any target, create target power stone token. We have 2 Brotherhood's End, that is essential to clean the board if they are playing an aggressive deck, this a lot of times turns this game for you. So. If you do not Brotherhood's End, what this deck wants to do is turn 3, play turn Lesson or Excavation Explosion, so that turn 4 you can skip to the Might, Weak and Weak, Might Stone and Weak Stone, that when it enters the battlefield you either draw true cards or you give minus five, minus 5 to target creature. Like it's not enough, you can also tap it to give 2 mana for artifact spells, but if you need to Brotherhood End, then turn 4 you can do something like Memory Deluge. Memory Deluge is also a good thing that when you discard with turn less and you can get it in the graveyard and then you can get it later on in the late game for f seven mana. Uh, we also have the Roaming Throne which is a great four drop. It has War 2, a 4-4. Four, four. When it enters the battlefield you choose a creature type. This um, is the chosen type in addition to other types and if a trigger ability of another creature you control of the chosen type triggers, it triggers an additional time. And you're going to see that we have some creatures for the later game that trigger. So we have two shimmels, spells cannot be countered, at the beginning of your end step you're going to discover five. So you can get a lot of things, you can get the might stone, weak stone, that's the best, you can get a roaming throne, memory deluge, you can get all these spells that deal damage, create power stones, and if you don't want to use the damage right away you can put it in your end that's why discover is in some aspects much better than um, cascade which is the old discovery if some of you might be familiar with paper magic we also have two threefold thunder oak whenever it enters the battlefield uh, it enters with 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters, and whenever this enters the battlefield or attacks, you create a number of 1 1 colorless gnomes artifacts um, equal to this power. So this enters as a 3 3 that creates 3 1 1s, but you start paying 2 mana to sacrifice power stones and to uh, put a plus 1 plus 1 on these. So hopefully, the next time that it attacks, it's like an 8 8 creating eight one ones that gets uh, pretty pretty insane again it has abilities that you can get with the roaming throne as well we have cityscape leveler whenever this spells um 
And whenever these attacks, whenever you cast or these attacks destroy up to one target non-land permanent, they create a power stone. It also has inert. So another great card for you to discard with turn lesson, just get it from the graveyard, deal a bunch of damage. Skittle Beetle Battalion, you can play it for 5 mana and it's 3 2 2s, two, but you can play it for 9 mana and then it's 3 4 4 Trample Ace, which is really good. Um, and it's a way to also win you the game out of nowhere. For lands, we're playing the basic Is uh, It Lands with Myrex as well because it creates you uh, artifact, which is great. And Otawara so Sokazen to create also some 1 1s to be able to win. And that's it, let's play some games. 341 Trading is sponsoring this video. They're having a Black Friday sale from November 22nd to November 27th. Their all inventory is 5% off and they offer free worldwide shipping on all orders over $500 or 500 euros. Visit shop.341trading.com to learn more. You can find all information in my description bar. Okay, I can definitely keep this. Okay, it's better... Hmm, okay... I'm really happy that... At least it's a creature deck. Because I have Brothers with End, and then I have Ramp into Three Folk, Thunder Oak, Three Fold. It seems like the Marvel thing. That's fine, okay, we pass. Is this soldiers? Who knows? It is something. If they don't play anything too aggressive, I can also just stern lesson next turn into directly power stone, but yeah. Actually, yeah. I think that's my best bet to then kill this. Because this doesn't deal with the knight. Oh, yikes! Okay. This is legendary, at least. I think I need to use a Brotherhood Sand next turn anyway. Okay, so first these. Oh, that way I can. Okay, so this is actually really perfect for me. Because now what I can do is this and then this. And I think we are stabilized. Sled 12, we still have Lightning Strike, we still have the Might Stone and Weak Stone, that's fine. Hmm, do they have a counter? Because they didn't play Arbinger. Okay, I think we risk it, they might have it, but... Let them use it, I guess. Okay, so I could draw, but I prefer to play safe. That Arbin needs a lot of creatures in the board. I think they might have the flash thing. I don't know the name. The two soldiers. That's it, Resolute Reinforcements. Sure, sure thing. No, I still need to Lightning Strike that thing, the Arbing. That thing cannot survive.
Okay, that's perfect, I guess. Conceal my Rex. How uh, about no? Sure. Not on my watch. And next one we have our Three Folk Thunder Oak. Setting a stop on the upkeep so I can scry and transform that. It's not bad. But I think I want a cityscape level or something. I don't know. Just being greedy. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. Let's play Three Folk Thunder Oak. <laughs> I can sacrifice these treasures, these power stones, to make it so freaking good. That's okay. Ah, so they have... Uh, I can still pay all my mana. I think it's worth it. Sure. One, two, three, four, they keep one mana. So yeah, maybe they can do it now, try to get another one drop. Just to put some pressure on the board. That's a good one. Actually, I want to tap this power stone for this. So I can sack the power stone. No, not this one. No, I was just starting to have fun. Yeah, this is pretty good. We have removal. We just need some ramp. I really like Tree Folk, Thunder Oak. Unfortunately, we're not on the play, but that's fine. Okay, that's good. Hello. Ooh, I got the perfect, perfect thing for that. Let's just see what they play first. This is instant speed. Exiling Kami seems like a better way to use my Flame Bolt. I have, although I have only Trader Bolt, but I can draw a treasure map. Okay, we did not. And I might actually just pass, because I prefer to use the brothers to the end, depending on what they play. Also, I need to find my ways to create the, the power, power stones. Okay, in this case, that they are doing nothing, I guess I'll remove this. They're probably missing white. They also have a slow end, unfortunately. Okay, they did find the white. Aha, uh -huh, that needs to die. Ooh, if we only had one more mana. Because then this ramps us a lot. Okay, land. Aha, we got a land. Okay, so we can do this minus that. Next one we can do three folk under oak, which is pretty good. Sure. 
sure. That's fine. This is an F trample, which is good to know. Ooh, the flying is rough though. So let me think what I think I want to do. Unfortunately, I cannot do it another time and still use Brotherhood's End, so we are going to do Brotherhood's End. We will attack, create five gnomes. And it's you, opponent. This thing escalates really quickly. Woof, woof. Three men, okay. Okay, before that enters the battlefield, I'm going to say no. Oh, another one. But I think I'm actually going to focus on just keep making more and more. Okay, so this way we are going to attack for 10 and make 9 one ones. Okay, I think this is enough, although I want to just for fun see how big this can go. I don't know if my opponent is going to let me have fun. Looks like they are a good sports person. I think they respect the fun decks. That's it. We're against Volcano Man. I can keep this. The flame blast bolt is good against red if that's the case. Any creature deck this is going to be good against. Okay. That's exiled. Okay, so I guess next turn they can get a mountain for free. We have turn less, which is great, because that means that next turn we can do Might Stone Week Stone, and I don't think Red can come back from that. Godwick is good, but I also have Obliterator Bolt. Okay, I need a land though. We got a land, so that's great. We are going to ramp at the same time, getting rid of that. So let's kill the Godric. Next time we have access to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty good. That's also fine. At this point, I'm almost sure I won against Mono Red because I, I don't think they have a lot of solutions against what I'm about to do. So if I do... Mm -mm -mm. I'm thinking... This and then this. And I'm even going to attack. This puts them on a very fast clock. I still have removal. Also, if they attack, they might have combat tricks anyway and just take advantage of my creatures. So I want them to be scared. And at this point, we are almost at the same life, but I'm threatening more damage. Sure, there's a trick. Sure, that has to die. Okay. 
going to Cityscape Leveler too. Which if I do and then I attack, I have two, four, six. Six plus eight, how much is six plus eight? I think it's 14, right? I should have enough. Six plus eight, yeah. My math is not good, y'all. But I think this should be it. This should be it. Got them. Mystical. Not bad. Not great. Mm, it has potential, but I think we need better. This is better. This is definitely better. Okay. I need these. That's fine. I take two damage. I actually don't because that is exile. So that's pretty good. Unfortunately, this is sorcery speed. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm just going to try to see if I can get something like a Brotherhood Sand. Because I will have to take for damage this time. At least. Yeah, that was a concern, but not much we can do. The bolt should take care of it though. Another one. That's, that's 10 damage. Brotherhood's end, Brotherhood's end. Yes. Maybe for now it has to be... Hmm, rough. Maybe even the Albert, the Bolt. Hopefully no answer to that. I feel like there is going to be... If it... What? Okay, what is this nonsense? I right, it's one off. I doubt that I can come back from this game. <laughs> no! Oh lord, I lost to a giant grode in 2023. Cannot be mad about that, I tell you that much. Marcel versus me. Eh. No, we need more land. This is good. This is actually perfect. How do I even choose? I guess I'm going to risk it for the biscuit because I cannot take any of these cards off. They're all amazing. Never punished. Let's go. Next we have treasure map. Then we have stern lesson. Damn it, this is only two damage. Okay. Map it is.
Ah, okay. So they're having mana issues, which might hold me on for a little bit longer. This will also give me the chance to draw some important pieces of the puzzle. Okay, the explosion is great. Not bad. You know what? I don't say no to that. Let's draw. Three damage, create another power stone. Now we have a lot of power stones. Another one bites the dust. I think when they see this cityscape leveler, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this enough? No, not enough yet, so maybe. Maybe, maybe. Sure. I'm going to say, eh, wait, I want to see. Construct. So then, I want to check next turn, but I am almost sure that this should... No, I wanted to check it. This should kill twice. This might be going really wrong. It can also go really right, so I'll risk it. I'm on the play. Otherwise, I don't think I would keep this end, by the way. Okay, red, but didn't play anything turn one, so that's good for me. Unless I get a firebolt in the face, whatever the name is, for two ma one mana. Human! Oh, PNLR. PNLR, I don't have an answer for PNLR right now. I'll have next turn. Okay, so we, we are going to see a land. And a 1-1. One, one. So I need to find the three damage to everything. Brotherhood Zen comes in clutch quite frequently in this deck. I feel like. Oops, my, okay, it's back. My screen just decided to die for a second. We have to take some damage, but. Okay, there we go. All right, can I, I can also just minus Pia. That way I ramp, I get the battalion faster. So now I have three mana for artifacts, for, for two more I get battalion. For the three, okay, that's fine. Play with fire, I was expecting that. Another PNLR, another one bites the dust. We'll see Cavern of Souls most likely. Sure. What else? Another PNLR. We clear the board. Unfortunately, then we cannot play these. I don't know why it tapped me like that, the auto tapper, but at least we can treasure them up and try to get something. Sometimes auto tapper can be really bad for us. This anime needs to die, so I definitely need to find something. I know what I need to find, <laughs> the another Brotherhood's End, so I'm going to even do that. No. Mm, 
Not bad, but I don't think that's what we need. No! No, we did not find that, which is actually really bad. So this needs to go. And I really, really, really need to find my brotherhood's end. Oh no. Is this enough? Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exact C's. No. Moron, moron, moron. I don't know how to say my opponent's name. Mm, this is rough. I think we have to mull. A bit better. It's slow though, but I think it's better. Okay, that's pretty good. So next time at least I have the exploration, excavation thing. And then I will have the weak stone, so that's like the best scenario. If they don't counter it, obviously. Okay, that's fine. But I cannot use my thing now. Unfortunately, that actually really ruined my plan, so I'm just going to do it face. Because I need that power stone. <laughs> Because I need my My Tweet Me Stone next turn, and I need to get Shimil and the Cityscape Leveler. Sure. Okay, so they really needed mana. Makes sense. Then I'm going to use these to draw and to ramp us simply. That's like the best scenario for us. Ooh, Thunder Oak, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So next one I can skitty escape leveler, which might take a lot of people to concede. I would. Sure. So this, this, this. I am giving them a power stone so they can explore for free. Amelia. Amalia. So that has ward, which is pay life. It's okay. I can do that. Mm, this is this is also not legendary, by the way. Yes. Trifolk has treated us very well in the past. Let's do that. That's too late. So we do that, we attack, attack. Yeah, that returns. Yes, trample, you have to block the other one, yeah. Too many artifacts. 
Stall Paul 02. I mean, it's oh, nah, better. You're great, but for later. So now we over there are playing some deck with creatures because we have so much removal. Hello, maybe they're not. Hmm. Okay, that's perfect. So they have green. Delusion is great, but we can get it back from the grave if needed. I feel like the explosion is the best against these. Obliterator Bolt is great, but I feel like we have enough removal. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need two more to be able to do Cityscape Leveler. She's always great against Shieldreds. Okay, Shimil. Sure, for free. I will take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. So we take potentially four damage if they choose creature, otherwise just three. Go down to 15 or 16. She's still pretty comfortable, I would say. Especially because I have access to so much more mana, though, even though we have the same amount of lands. We're not the same. Paul is tall. I'm short. Paul has four lands. I have four lands. I have the power stones. Okay, it's night, but I have the cityscape leveler now, I am sure. At this point, I think I can just discard treasure map. And I'll still have the ability from Shimil. That's pretty good. He does come back from the grave though. Just let's see what I get. Sure, for free I'll take it. I mean, we have access to a lot of mana already. They have five, six mana, okay. What is that? Oh, no, no, no. Exiling my beautiful... No. Let's try to strike this. That's three folk, thunder, oak. By the way, does anyone know why is it appearing with this effect? Like these red things, usually that's for uncountable, but I'm not sure why. Oh, cannot be countered. Okay, probably that's it. I'm going to put it in end. Can't be, why cannot it be countered? Trifolk. Why cannot it be countered? Am I missing something? Ah, spells you control can't be countered. I cannot read. Oh no. Okay, that's the perfect top deck, I would say.
This is legendary, so let's just pass. Sure. Face. I have plenty of removal, so I'm just going to try to put more pressure. They might have Useju. If that's the case, I have another Shimil, so... Okay. So maybe Shieldred has mana, so maybe they want to do Shieldred. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still gets exiled. No, more and more lands. Okay, let's attack. Look, I'll take it. Doesn't matter, I'm just going to draw two cards. Ah, not bad. Look, I like Sozaken because instead of 3 damage, I'm doing 5 damage. That puts me in a faster clock. Sokenzan. This doesn't deal face, unfortunately. Geek's Command, okay, let it happen. What do they return? Shili, probably, and the Urbog. They can only cast one, though. And not this turn, actually. This doesn't count, so... Yeah, so, Graveyard Trespasser does make sense. I don't know if they played land already, to be honest. Maybe they did not. Maybe they want to do the Graveyard Trespasser. They don't have Brotherhood's End. It is they. Oh, okay. I have another one. I think they'll concede when they see the other one. Sure. Let's draw. The value of this deck is insane, unreal, and all the good things. I think if I draw a Cityscape Leveler, I might exile it in the end of the turn, obviously, because I might just get it from the grave immediately, attack for it, destroy something. Sure. So they might have the two mana sacrifice. Okay, let's try to attack. Okay, so they do have it. Pretty unfortunate. So no attacks. Minus five, minus five there. What do you have for us, Shimil? Not bad. I'm going to say Construct. Or maybe Gnome or Golem. I'd say Construct. It also has Ward, which is pretty good. I still have one Cityscape Leveler. Another thing I could have said is Three Folk. Thunder Oak, so I could have said Gnome or the... But the Skittle Beetle Battalion is also a construct, so that's another way I can go about it. Sure.
Not bad. So this way I deal 4, 6 damage. Roaming Throne is really good, I like it. So let's attack. Or try to... They are slowly dying, slowly but surely. Sure, not much I can do about that. Put in end, because we don't want to kill our own creatures. Sure. Okay, they only only have one card left. I might double Bless Bolt that, just so that I can keep dealing damage. Because at this point, I have a lot of ways to win this game. The biggest one being Three Folk Thunder Oak. Auto Hour can be good. Okay, let's see what Chimil gets us. Not bad. Again, I'll say Construct. I still have uh, two islands and two mountains. Okay, we win. Unless they have more removal. We got there. I hope you enjoyed the video. I cut some videos out. I ended up having six and four with this deck. I think I lost and I didn't include a couple of games against Mono Red because you know how it goes already. But for transparency, six four is the score of this deck in best of one, which ends up being 60% win rate, which I think is really fair uh, for a deck like this. And uh, I think you can have fun win. Um, obviously it's not tier one soldiers or something like that, but I feel like in this meta is pretty good. Also go for throat cannot uh, deal with artifact creatures, so that's really good against black. And uh, against a lot of decks it's going to be doing well. Usually the way it loses, it's not the late game. It's if they really have um, that aggro perfect, you know, turn one, two, three. And even then you just need to make sure you don't creep too much of a greedy end, which I feel like it was my mistake in some of the games that I kept a later end. Um, Maybe it's turn lesson and then some things, but against Mono Red, that is not going to cut it. You need to make sure that you have the Flame Blast Bolt or Lightning Strike or Obliterator Bolt, uh, especially Riders with End. If you have Riders with End, okay. But even then, like Mono Red is very, very explosive, uh, but still hope you liked the deck. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And uh, that's it. Uh, have a great, great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.